Okay, I'm here at the old school in Arroyo. Um, there you can see the old town site. I'll be heading down there next. Hopefully I'll be spending the night there. It's Friday the 13th with a full moon. I'd love to spend the night in a ghost town. So I think that's going to be my candidate for the night. Um, I'm in the middle of nowhere. Where I'll be spending the night tonight. On this Friday the 13th. I believe it's uh, September 2019. Find me a place to park up here and spend the night in a ghost town. What could be better, right? What could be better? <clears throat> so that was the old uh, merchandise store. This must have been the old garage. Now, tread lightly in these tall grasses. I was met by a snake when I got out of the RV. I saw it. Kind of startles you. Wow. Lots of old stuff in there. Gosh. Don't know what all of it is. They got a lot of this and that, it looks like. Yep, a lot of this and that. As you can see, I'm in the middle of nowhere. Somewhere in Kit Carson County in Colorado. This, uh, this is in uh, southeastern Colorado. If I'm not careful, I'm going to end up in Kansas. and see what it says. Oh. Okay, we are at uh, Fort Dodge Hospital outside of Dodge City, Kansas at the old abandoned hospital. And we're seeing if we're live right now. If we are, we're going in. <laughs> All right, here we are. Just don't get lost. Okay, what room is this then? No number. No number. Okay. Alright. What's that? Yeah. It's not really big up here, so I don't think we'll get lost. Coming? Yeah. I was digging the power box. Now this is the old, uh, in case you missed it, this is the old Fort Dodge Hospital, um, no longer <laughs> being used, obviously. This must have been the nurse's station, and I bet these were the call lights. See, all the lights that are lit up probably had room numbers next to them. Way back in the day. Let's see what inside the nurse's station looks like. Since I know, like, being a nurse, I'm interested in that stuff. Beautiful. Some old photographs. This must have been from the nursing home. They were talking about the uh, yeah. records and stuff being out. That's well, pretty bad. So it seems like that's a HEPA violation. violation. So this is the nurse's station.
Look behind you. What? It's, no, that's what it says on the wall. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the devil is real. Interesting. Back there. We should go down. Who said that? Who said that? Pretty creepy. It says go back. What's, what's in that room? Huh? Were we in that room already? Point yeah, there. that's the dining room. This oh, is the okay. other door. Right so, so when you come running out, you don't have to use the door because there ain't one. <laughs> This is Cindy Martin and Dennis Bachelor. We are here, we are boondocking through Florida, Central Florida, um, Northern Central Florida. Right now we are in um, Jasper, Florida at the Old County uh, Historical County Jail in, in Hamilton County. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Yeah, so watch our investigation. We'll, we'll, I'll throw it in after this video and yeah. uh, put it together on YouTube and kind of string it. <laughs> you look like you're all bright eyed and bushy tailed, ready to go. <laughs> all right, all right, guys. This is uh, we're going back in. Uh, we had a lot of activity the last time we were in. Um, this will be the last uh, last time for tonight, and who knows, the last time forever that I'll ever investigate this place. But, uh, as I said, we were getting a lot of voices downstairs. All our batteries started dying and whatnot, and so we wrapped it up. But we're back now. It's uh, a little after one in the morning here. Oh, look at the spikes. Spiking? Oh, crap. Look at the meter. Yeah, what's it doing? It's all the way up to red. Yeah. All right, are you in here with us now? I've been sitting here just doing nothing. Okay. Yep, I see that. Go back up to red for us, please. Yeah, that was cool. It might make sense because this K2 is a little crazy. Light. So it's light. Thank you for lighting up those lights. Yeah, the K2 was going off pretty crazy there for a minute, too. It still is. Um, been pretty quiet. Oh, shit. Lights are out. Just lost all my lighting. can't see a thing. Yeah, it's dead, dead, just all of a sudden right here. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. I just heard something a noise back there, too. Wait a second. Come here and listen for a minute. I know we don't have any lights, but... Yeah, this is dead, dead. Just all of a sudden. Bible. Because I got the battery cap off this, I can go out and grab some batteries while we're still alive so I don't upset the feed. Things are happening right now. Let's see if we can get this light going again and just stay in here for a little bit. So let's go back to the camper real quick and I'll grab some fresh batteries. Oh shoot. These are these are fully charged right here. Take them, pop these out real quick. Let's 
see here. All right, I may have to hold it, but this will work. Okay. Moment. In the moment. We're in the moment. We're in the moment. All right, I'm just gonna have to hold the light, okay. but it, but we got one that works. I can't strap it on or anything. I just don't want to lose anything right now. Everything's happening. Uh, um, right in front of me. Okay, this is getting weird. <laughs> Freaking strobe light. <laughs> Funny smell in here all of a sudden too. Can you smell anything? Like not a good smell. It's like a not really. Um. Huh. Alright, well. Guys, this is what we're looking for. <laughs> I don't want to go on upstairs. This is where we heard the voices before. Hope the batteries stay up. Still leaking out okay. there. Still water leaking. Hey, that makes it even better for us though. The moving of that water. There we go, we're flickering again. We're flickering. Okay, are you over here? This is the cell we were sitting in when we heard the bang. Mm -hmm. Which is the second time I've sat in that cell and asked for a receipt. There we go, we're blinking pretty hard again. Oh yeah. That confirmation. Are you here? Sure. Can you make it blink again? Thank you. Thank you? Are you one of the prisoners? Observe. Should crime observe. Make my light blink if you're one of the prisoners. Factors. Thank you. Were you male? You saw the light flicker. You were a male. Are you a female? Are you a child? Oh, great. Great. Well, guys, this is kind of weird because we're upstairs in the total dark now. Cindy does have a light. Everything's failing. Um, they were using the light to communicate. Here we go again. Can, can, you, can you stop now, please? Hang on a second, I think. Because I know that these are... Let me try something real quick while we're here. I've got all these extra batteries because that one I know was new. This was new. But let me try and get this one out of here. See if I can get a light going there again. Yeah, guys, this is dedication here. <laughs> mm. I'm telling you. And you shot one of the doors. Holy shit. You ask where to shut the door, they sure shut the door. Did everybody hear that? Wow. That was a bang. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Thank you very much. Would you like to come speak with us? Check the temperature. I feel like it's getting colder in here. 60. Yeah, I feel a draft coming in at my, my legs now. Mm. 
right now we're at, uh, what is it, 60.4. Hey everybody, I'm at uh, Bill Skeeto's uh, hanging site here in uh, just outside of Newton, Newton, Alabama. So let me flip the camera around here. I'll have to turn it off and redo it, but I'll tell you the story. It's like 60 degrees right now, nice and warm. I'm uh, heading into the woods here to the uh, site where Bill Skeeto was hung. I'll tell you that story here in a minute. Kind of get set up down here. Uh, here by myself tonight. Also in, uh, <laughs> makes it a little more interesting because I'm in uh, skunk ape, ape country. Uh, Skunk Ape, uh, you might know him better as Bigfoot. Uh, he's, he's said to be out here somewhere. Um, also, because of the uh, Catawata Hoochie River down below this bridge, um, I also got, I, I understand I also have gators to contend with. So it's going to make for an interesting uh, investigation tonight. Give me a second here. I'm just now getting back out here. Anyways, like I say, I'm in the the, uh, the deep woods of uh, southern Alabama here by myself. Bigfoot country. Uh, but what I'm here for actually tonight is I'm here to uh, investigate the story of uh, Bill Skeeto. And the story goes that uh, Bill Skeeto was a um, Methodist preacher back in 1864, and he was part of the Civil War. Well, when he was on the front line fighting, he got word that his, his wife was pretty ill. So he actually hired somebody to take his place on the front line of the battle. And uh, he was able to come home. Well. They also had eight children, so it was pretty important that somebody be there with the kids as well. So he gets back, and immediately she starts to recover, and, and she pulls out of it, and she's back to health within a couple of weeks. Well, um, that's all fine and good, and Bill stuck around for a month. And then he stuck around for two months, and then he, uh, after about the third month, the Delville, uh, uh, Delville, county militia or whatever I can't think of the name offhand what he was exactly called but in in the Civil War time the deserter you know uh, was death by hanging Colonel uh, what was his name Colonel uh, Breyer or Byer or something um, he uh, he frowned on on uh, Bill deserting his, his troops so uh, they he, he formed a, a group together of five men and they laid in wait for Bill to come back down this this very road to to head home one evening and and captured him proceeded to uh, beat him up pretty bad and then they took and drug him over to a tree where they kind of made a, a makeshift noose out of a, a buggy whip and then stuck Bill on the back of this this buggy that they they'd gotten and and it may have been his I don't know but at any rate he was on his buggy and they were getting ready to go ahead and hang him so the colonel asked him if he had any last words him being a, a Methodist uh, preacher then he was actually praying for the men that were about to kill him that that uh, Lord had mercy on his their souls because they were hanging an innocent man and that infuriated the colonel and he immediately slapped the the horse's butt they took off running Bill was a pretty tall guy from my understanding and, a, and kind of a heavy guy too so unlike me I'm short heavy but but short anyways uh, his feet were touching the ground and he was kind of uh, kind of bobbing himself around that that uh, 
buggy whip around his neck and he wasn't dying. So there was another fella, um, George Eckel. He, uh, he had a, a leg amputated during the war, so he walked around with crutches, and it said that he took his crutch, dug a hole underneath Bill's feet, uh, eight inches deep and, and 30 inches in diameter, so that Bill could swing. And sure enough, he got it deep enough that, that uh, Bill then did perish from the hanging. So days go by, and they... they uh, come back and that hole's still there so they would fill it in with trash or whatever and come back and the hole was still there they, they'd fill it in again and come back and the story goes that the legend goes that that the hole always uh reappears even even though they cover it again it's alabama's top 10 haunted stories and here i am <laughs> so i said what the heck you know it's 60 degrees here and uh, and 10 o'clock at night here in Alabama, beautiful night. So this is where I, what I chose to do tonight. And uh, thought I could hear some growling stories. Uh, I'm, I'm told that there are alligators down there. So uh, yeah, I didn't go too much into the brush to go looking for any alligators. Uh, I'm more looking for Bigfoot and, and Bell. <laughs> uh, kind of choosy tonight. But, uh, at any rate, we'll we'll do some EVPs. I got uh, I, I I don't like K2s. They're too easy to set off. Too many things that can can uh, manipulate them so that they light up. But I think out here um, there's not going to be a lot of radio uh, static going through. There's no electricity, so we'll try it and see if it starts like it is now. It's lighting up. Uh, it hasn't done that all night, so maybe. Maybe Bill's here with us tonight, or now. He wasn't here earlier. I didn't get any response, but, but it is getting some flickering. I don't know if you can see that or not. So I'm going to set it down back on the bridge, take this other light, uh, get a little closer here. Shelly. Boy, what was that? That sounded like Bigfoot. Ooh. Sure did. Heard something. There, I heard it again. I'll shut up and see if you guys can hear it. <laughs> Shelly. Boy, what was that? That sounded like Bigfoot. Ooh. monsters drop down I'm in trouble because there's nowhere for me to go and the ones I'm talking about are these guys here
So you can see off in the distance there, there's the uh, town of Kyoto. And I might be heading up there again tonight. It's amazing just being on top of that little hill versus where I'm at. I was going to plan, I was planning on staying the night here at the cemetery. Um, but just being on top of that hill, I get a whole lot better cell service. So I'm going to go back probably up in front of the school. Spent the night there last night and uh, nice and quiet. So I'll probably do it again. Got my little visitors checking out, seeing what's uh, going on here. Apparently they've been picked up off the uh, graves here. Uh, it was probably poured inside of a, I don't know, a pillow sack, maybe a gunny sack or something. And uh, made to work for a headstone. Kind of interesting.